Hey there! I see you've taken out the 300 watt Lanero lighting kit from the QUT ELC. Do you know anything about it? What is in it? How to set it up? Well, how convenient. Introduction to the 300 watt Lanero lighting kit. The kit consists of a grey box and a black bag. Inside are three Lanero lights, three tripods, plenty of pegs, gloves, spare bulbs, a residual current device or RCD, two extension cords, a container of lighting gels and diffusion sheets, and a fire extinguisher. Well then, let's set it up. Grab a tripod. Firstly, separate the legs. The tripod is most stable when these bars are parallel to the ground. Next, grab one of the lights and screw it onto the top of the tripod pole. Is it secure? Good! Now grab the RCD and plug it into the cord attached to the light. Attention! Make sure the switches on the RCD are not switched on. Plug the RCD into the wall power point. Switch the power point on the wall on. Attention! To check if the power is running to the RCD, flick the safety switch located on the side. If the power is working, when the button is pushed it will make a sound. Now that it's all plugged in, it's time to turn it on. Wait! In case the bulb shatters when first turned on, face the light away from the casting crew. Open the barn doors, then flick the switches on the RCD and the light itself. Well done! You successfully set up and turned on your light. Attention! Now that the light is turned on, it will get extremely hot. Okay, now let's turn this light off and set up the other two. It seems like you've blown a bulb. That's okay, let's change it. Attention! Turn off the light at both the light itself and the RCD, then unplug the cord and take it back to where you're working, so no one is able to plug it back in. If the light is hot, allow it to cool. Hands are not to come into contact with the glass of the globe. Use the gloves provided or other clean materials to handle the globe. Pull it out. Do not throw away the bulb. It must be kept and returned to the ELC. Swap the new bulb and the old bulb in the box. Take the new bulb and push it securely into place, like so. When ready, again make sure the light is facing away from cast and crew and plug it in and turn it on as previous. Now all your lights work, you can turn them on and manipulate them to successfully illuminate your scene. Lighting is used for one of three reasons. To supplement, to enhance, or to replace natural lighting. And there are a number of creative ways it can be used to completely change the meaning of a film. But, you're not going to be able to do that unless you know the basic techniques. First of all, we need a glamorous assistant. I don't know about glamorous, but they'll do. First, let's set up a key light. To do this, the light is shone directly onto the subject from the direction desired. See how it creates dramatic shadow? This light is very bright. We'll get to that. Next, shine the light against a close-by surface, a wall or a ceiling. This light is not as harsh as the key light, See the difference? You have three lights. Use a combination of these to illuminate your subject. The easiest way to make a light not as bright is to manipulate the barn doors. Closing the doors allows less light to come through. Again, attention! Remember that the light will be very hot, so use the gloves provided. You will see in your kit are what are called colour correction gels and diffusion sheets. This is how you apply them to your light. Place the sheet over the front of the barn doors and use the wooden pegs also located in your kit to secure like this, and not like this, as it can damage the sheets. The diffusion sheets are used to soften lights. See the difference between the left image, which is the straight light, and the right image, which is with the diff? Well done! Now you know the basics of the 300 watt Lanero lighting kit. Time to pack up, and with that I have one more piece of advice. At the end of your shoot, turn your lights off first to allow them to cool before packing them away.